Hello everyone and welcome back to Pilates with Bonnie. Today I'm going to be taking you through a full body beginner Pilates class. You won't need any equipment at all, just yourself, your mat and your favourite playlist on in the background. Let's jump into it. So we're going to start on all fours today. So coming onto your hands and knees, making sure that your hands are directly underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. From here, I want you to engage through your core. So pull your belly button through to the back of your spine, making sure your back is flat and your pelvis is in neutral. Then I want you to extend your left leg long behind you. Try not to let that hip lift up. Imagine you've got headlights on your hips. You want to keep them flat facing towards the floor. Then from here, you're giving me a little squeeze of that glute, a little pulse, then we lower down. So we lift, little pulse, and come down, nice, keep going. Lift, little pulse, and lower. Really focusing here on pointing the toes, stretching the leg away from you, squeezing that left glute to lift your leg up. Nothing else is moving, so I don't want you to see, I don't wanna see your back moving. I want your core nice and tight, protecting your spine, just that leg. You've got three more like this before we add on. Just for two. Last one. All right, then I want you to extend your right hand long in front of you. We're gonna add the arm and the leg at the same time. So we lift, little pulse, and down. Lift, little pulse, and lower. Again, nothing else is moving apart from your leg and your arm. If the arm feels like too much today, you are more than welcome to place it back on the mat and do this with just the leg. You've got four more here. For three, exhale every time you lift for two. Give me one more, hold it up, we're just holding it still for 10. Nine, really press your left hand into the mat, press your right shin for five, four, three, two, and one. Keep the leg lifted, place your hand back down. We're coming into a rainbow, so lift your left foot up and over to the right side, and then we go up and over to the left. Up and over to the right, and over to the left. Again, I don't want your hips to be rocking from side to side. If that means you've got to make a smaller rainbow with your leg, that's totally fine. I would much prefer that than a big rainbow with unstable hips. Give me four more here. Squeeze that glute to lift it up, just for two. One more. Come back to centre, flex your foot, bend your knee. You're going to lower your knee down, lift it straight back up, then we're coming to the side. We go down to the side, down, lift it back, down, lift it to the side. Keeping your ankle flexed as much as you can so your toes are facing towards your shin, so you really feel it and activate it in your hamstring. Let's go for four more here before we pulse it to the back. Last three. For two. Last one. On your next one, hold it to the back. You've got eight pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop that knee down slowly. All right, opening your knees slightly wider than your hips, keeping your toes together. So you're in a diamond position. Hands are in front of you underneath your shoulders. Then we're gonna come into a press up. So keeping your core engaged, shoulders down and back away from your ears. You're bending your elbows, keeping your elbows nice and narrow. Pressing away from the mat, sitting back into a child's pose and then coming all the way back forward, resetting. So we bend, press, child's pose, and come forward, nice, keep going. Lower the chest, lift the chest, child's pose, reset. I don't want you pausing and relaxing in that child's pose for too long unless you absolutely need to. Really feeling it in those triceps. The more weight you push into your palms, the more you'll feel it in your arms and your abs. You've got three more here. Two more. 
Keep the chin lifted. Try not to look towards your knees. Last one. All right, we're holding into that push-up position. Hold it halfway down for 10, 9, 8, 7, a little bit lower, 6, core tight, 5, 4, shoulders away from your ears, 3, 2, and 1, press up. All right, come into a quick child's pose. Rock your hips from side to side if you need. If you would prefer, you can shake out your wrists, whatever feels good, before we go into that other side, all right? So coming back onto your hands and knees, this time we're extending that right leg long behind you. Keeping the hips square, core tight, we lift up, little pulse, lower down. Lift, little pulse, and down. Beautiful, keep going there. Remember, you can always come back to this option if you need. Let's go for three more. For two. And one. Let's add that arm. Extend your left arm or your opposite arm long. We lift, little pulse, lower down. Lift, little pulse, and down. Imagine I'm pulling your leg and your arm away from each other. It's not necessarily about how high you can get your leg and arm. It's about how long and how far you can reach them away from each other. Just for four. Three more, I don't want to see anything else moving. Squeeze it up for two. Last one, we hold it up for 10, nine. Wriggle the fingers, wriggle the toes, pull away for five, four, three, two, and one. Place that hand down. Let's go into our rainbow straight away. Lift the leg up and over to the left, and then over to the right. Nice big rainbows. Watching your hips, make sure, make sure they're staying stable, not rocking from side to side with that rainbow. You've got five more for four, three, two, last one. Come all the way back to centre. Flex your foot, bend your knee. We're going to tap the knee down, lift it straight back up, Tap the knee down, straight to the side. So we go down to the back, down to the side. Imagine you've got paint on your foot. I want you to draw or paint a footprint all the way onto that ceiling when the leg is up behind you. Nice, you've got three more of each side here. For two, keep going, don't forget about your core. Last one. We're holding it to the back. Give me eight pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take that knee down. Well done. All right, are we ready to keep going? Glutes should be nice and warm. Core should be activated. We're gonna get that core fired up a little bit more. All right, so placing your feet in front of you, hands behind your knees. On your inhale, I want you to sit up nice and tall, shoulders down and back. On your exhale, tuck your pelvis under, round through your spine, make a C shape, hold it, and then we come all the way back up. So we exhale to come back. Inhale to roll back up, keeping your elbows nice and wide. Rolling back, making a C shape with your spine, core nice and tight, and then we slowly, slowly come back up, just using your core, not any momentum. We come back and we lift up. Every time you roll back, I want you to think about your ribs sliding down towards your hips, making some nice rolls with your skin there, and then we lift all the way up as slow as you can. You've got four more here. Exaggerating your breath, you've got three. For two. On your next one, we hold it all the way back. Extend your arms in front. We lift up, we lower down. Breathe in to lift up, breathe out to lower them back. Nice, you've got six more here. 
Keeping that C shape with your spine. I don't want to see a flat back. Really round through your spine. Tuck your pelvis under. Last three. <clears throat> For two. One more. Hold the hands in front. We lift up an inch, lower down an inch. Lift up, lower down. Just using your abs. You've got six. You've got five. Tiny movement. It only has to be small. For three. For two. Last one. Beautiful. Pop your hands behind your knees and roll all the way back. Nice work. Core should be nice and warm now, but we're going to add one more little set here just to make sure it's really on. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to make sure my microphone is away from my chin. Hands behind your head. Elbows nice and wide. Feet a hip distance apart. On your exhale, I want you to lift up into your ab curl and then lower down. Then we're going to add an oblique twist with a knee pull. So you twist and then lower back down. One to the center. And then one to the opposite side, knee to elbow. Really focusing in on using your abs, your core to lift you up, not just using your head and your neck. One to the middle, one to the side. If that feels too strong with that knee lift, you can take out the knee lift and just do the oblique twist. That's totally fine. Let's go for four more here. You've got three more. Get your shoulder blades all the way off the mat. For two, all the way up. Last one. We're going to hold our next oblique twist. Hold it all the way in. Little pulse for ten. Nine, little pulse. Eight, seven, keep going. Six, you can keep the leg down just for three. Two and one, straight over to that other side. You've got eight, seven, knee to elbow, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down. Beautiful. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Stretch out through your core a little bit. Relax for a sec. All right, then we're going to come to our side. So cross your knees over, pop your hands behind your knees. We're rolling all the way up, and then we're going to come to our side. So, coming down onto your forearm, making sure your elbow is underneath your shoulder. We're in a clam position, so your feet are in line with your hips and your shoulders, making sure we're not sinking into that side oblique. You're pushing away from the mat, lifting that underside oblique. Your top hand can be either on the floor or on your hip. Choice is yours. Then when you're ready, we're going to lift the knee, lift the ankle at the same height, and then we lower back down. Lift up and lower. So we're focusing here on squeezing that side glute to lift your leg up. Squeeze and down. As well, our core is working to stabilize us to make sure we're not just relaxing into everything. Lift and lower. Four more here before we add on last three for two. One more, we hold it up. We go extend, extend the leg, bend, lower down. So we lift, reach away, make sure your foot is in line with your hip, then bend and down. Imagine your leg is working through water. Otherwise, it's too easy. You've got to, really got to work for it in Pilates sometimes. All right, let's go. Four more here. Even if you're intermediate, you'll feel this if you're working it properly. Two more. Last one, hold to the side. You're going to sweep your leg in front so your knees are in line. Flex your ankles, sweep to the side. So we go point, sweep to the front, flex, sweep to the side. Nice, nothing else is moving. Watch your hips, nothing else is moving. Just your leg is sweeping in front, Sweeping to the side. You've got four more. I want you to draw a horizontal line. It's not a wiggly line, not a diagonal line. Horizontal. Last two. One more. Hold to the side. Point your toes. Little circles for eight. Seven little circles. Six. Whew. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Reverse for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Lift it up an inch. Four. Three. 
two and one, come down. Oh, give that glute a whack. My goodness, as long as you're working those muscles properly, beginner classes can be killer. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go straight onto that other side. So push yourself up, take your feet over to the other side, and then coming down onto that opposite forearm, lifting away from your shoulder, lifting away from your oblique, feet in line with your hips and your shoulders. Then let's get started. We lift the knee, lift the ankle, lower down. Lift it up, lower down. Every exhale is when you lift that leg up. Starting to warm up that opposite side now. You've got four more here before we add on. Three, two, one more. We hold it up, extend your leg to the side, bend it back in, lower down. So we lift, extend, reach, imagine I'm pulling your leg, bend and down. Watch that that foot isn't dropping down towards the floor. You're keeping it in line with your knee and your hip. Four more. You should be starting to feel it in that glute now. For three, point the toes. For two, last one, we hold it up. We sweep in front, flex, sweep to the side. Point, sweep to the front, flex, sweep to the side. Nice, six more. Working through water, adding that flex and point. You've got three. Kick it in line with the rest of your body for two. One more. Hold to the side, point your toes. Circle for eight, seven, tiny circle. Six, five, four, three. That side glute is burning. Two, reverse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it down. Give it a little whack, massage it out. Give it some love. And then we're going to finish off with a little bit more glutes on our back. So roll down onto your back, readjust yourself, popping your heels hip distance apart, hands down by your side. We're gonna come into some bridges to finish off. So take a nice deep breath in, keep your hands down by your side. On your exhale, you're going to tuck your pelvis under, drive through your heels and lift your glutes up towards the ceiling. Hold it there and then slowly articulate the spine one vertebrae at a time all the way back down. So we exhale, tuck, peel and lift, squeeze the glutes. Only go as high as your glutes will take you. I don't want to see this. This is just using our back. Our core is completely relaxed here. This is a core exercise as well. And then slowly lower down. So keeping your upper back flat on the mat. Exhale, tuck, peel, lift, squeeze those glutes, hold it for a pause, and then lower down from your upper back, mid back, lower back to your tailbone. Nice. Really getting that lovely articulation and mobilization through your spine, focusing in on those glutes and keeping your core tight. Really scooping the abs in. Let's go for three more here. Exhale, tuck, peel, lift, drive through the heels. You should be able to wriggle those toes. Last two. On your next one, you're going to hold your hips lifted. Tuck, peel and lift, squeeze your glutes, hold it there, little pulse up and down. Down an inch and up an inch. You've got 10, nine, eight little squeezes, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, hold it up in one. Lift your left heel off the mat. Then we're gonna repeat. We lower the hips straight down. Imagine I'm karate chopping your hips down so we don't need to roll them down here. And then lift them straight back up. Breathe in to lower down. Breathe out, squeeze them up. Try not to let your bum touch that mat. I want you to come just about 95% of the way so your hips are just about to touch. Inhale down, exhale lift. You've got five here for four, three. Last two, keep that heel lifted. One more, we hold it up, swap to the other side. Right heel lifts. We drop the hips straight up. Inhale down, exhale lift. You've got seven here for six. Keep drawing in through the core. You've got four, 
three, two, last one. We hold it up, lift both heels. You're finishing with pulses here. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, take your hands up. If not, keep them down. Let's finish here. You've got 10 pulses and then you are done. Last eight, seven, six, squeeze the little creases underneath your glutes for five, four, three, two, and one, roll down. Oh my golly, hug your knees in, little rock from side to side, stretch out those glutes. Amazing work. To get up, you can cross your feet over, pop your hands behind your knees, and roll all the way up. And that's it, we are done for our beginner Pilates class today. We're gonna finish with our affirmation card, so I'm going to randomly choose one of them now and then I'll pop them on the screen, pop it on the screen at the end of the class for you to have a little read through. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I look forward to joining you next time on the map. Bye. Mwah.